Well, hey, so let's get on with this. This is for one of my students. I haven't done one of these for ages, so you have to bear with me. So, can't say his name, but just let's put it this way. Um, as your song goes, sorry, Miss Jackson. I am for real. Never meant to make your daughter cry anyway. If that didn't tell you who it was, then let's try this one. Um, who sang I'm bad? Um, but there you go, I'm a science teacher, so therefore I must be. Let's whack this on. So nice and easy for all the A-level students. Um, ignore this one. So here was the little, little um, question. What is starch? What digests starch? And that's my crazy writing, starch. So it's, I think it's a bit too sensitive. Starch is a collection of these hexagons. And these hexagons are glucose. I must alter the sensitivity. Oh my dear God, look at the sensitivity of that. That's all over the place. Not even touching it there. GG. Um, so let's un undo all oh, these disgusting handwriting there. Well, it's nothing new for me. So let's let's try pencil. Maybe we're better in pencil. Hey. Okay, so geez, lots of hexagons we done. You're still dragging. That's bad as my whiteboard. Okay, so that G stands for glucose. And we have lots and lots and lots and lots and trillions well, trillions really, I'm exaggerating there. Um, tens of thousands of these glucose molecules and glucose is that really sweet stuff in energy tablets you can buy from well, I know a pharmacist at Tesco's or something like that. so lots of G's um, so anyway so here we've got loads of, loads of glucose just imagine these go on forever and ever and ever well no about 10,000 um, and the enzyme that breaks this down in amylase is amylase but you've got to be kind of careful because amylase, I should really stretch, stretch this. Let's stretch this screen out. I should really just use my, um, use my, uh, we go, stretch the screen out. So amylase. Where are we? Let's get a brush stroke back on. So amylase, amylase is enzyme. Um, and let's just stick with amylase for the time being. Let's not get too, too precise with it. So amylase. So uh, amylase, and here's a mistake. Kids think it'll break it down to glucose. No, it won't. It's a big fat lie. It won't break it down to glucose. It'll act as a bit lazy. It don't go all the way. It breaks it down to two glucose molecules stuck together. We've got a G in there. Way and a G in there. And it's not even touching and scribbling. Let's get it. Get rid of these disgusting Gs. So there's a glucose over here. And a glucose molecule over there. So these two stuck together, they're called maltose now we want glucose because we can only get glucose in through our small intestines so for all those of my A level students you'll be able to tell me how um, for my GCSE lot don't worry about that bit but anyway so what we want is a glucose molecule and amylase, as lovely as it is, all it goes down to maltose is two, two glucose joined together. So we have another enzyme. The other enzyme is maltase. If it ends in A's, it's an enzyme. And if it's an O's, it's a sugar. All right, that's four minutes of my blazing personality. Hope you lot enjoyed it. I got a change of sensitivity on this thing. Bye.